Hi Leo, welcome to your August Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we're going to take a look at what is going on for you in love for the month of August and see what you need to know. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Cross watchers are welcome. It could actually be a message for you so again take it how it resonates including uh, the signs mentioned and if you are dealing with someone you can definitely um, switch the energies around if you feel like you need to you know if energies come out here that you have no interest uh, getting back with somebody or anything like that this probably is not your reading i just have to put that out there so that everybody understands that so let's see what we have so far tantric union Ooh, Leo. Golden Memories. Wow, I just got this for Aries, and I did shuffle the cards um, before I came on camera and after. So what I'm feeling like here, uh, Leo, if you have not been uh, romantically involved or in that kind of union with your person, this could be happening or it could be happening 5D or, you know, you could be getting uh, past life uh, remembrances of this person and maybe through dreams maybe through meditation um, flashbacks uh, deja vu kind of energy I'm seeing a lot of fire here so maybe you're dealing with another fire sign but very like sacred tantric um, spiritual union in all forms not just uh, intimately in you know the passionate way but let's see where this is going for you, Leo. Interesting. So welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. So Leo, if you're new here, you can check the description box below. Lots of information down there about me in this channel. Your July readings are down there. Um, my Patreon is down there. Um, and private reading information is down there. Lots and lots of stuff. I do usually offer extended readings, but uh, cutting back a little bit on those. So I will be doing extended readings for the no contact and the you versus them, but not for uh, these monthly ones or uh, the singles. So, and I may be adding a little extra content to the channel if I have the time. All right, something a little different. We'll see. All right. Leo, let's get one more. Okay, here comes some thunderstorms. You could be uh, having a very explosive union coming up here, Leo. Let's see. So we have polar bear. So again, this is kind of like the strength card to me, and I know it's a polar bear, but it says mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you have when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and did I say not say about dreaming, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. So some of you could be um, psychic, very intuitive, have a connection to source, spirit, angel team, um, passed over loved ones, ancestors, um, kind of energy, high priestess kind of energy here. Maybe some of you are healers in some way, shape, or form. And if you never believed you were, this could be confirmation for you. And we have, oh my God, we have two bears here, Leo. Oh, I don't think I've ever gotten this. We have a grizzly bear, power. You could be a powerful, powerful mystic here, Leo. If you ever doubted that, this could be your confirmation here. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. We have strength there twice. You are Leo. You are the strength card. I never give up. I will succeed. So whatever you're trying to do in life, if you're starting to, if you're trying to start a spiritual career or business, I would say keep going, keep going. Don't lose faith, hope. Stay strong, confident. You will reap what you've uh, put into this energy very powerful mystic here powerful energy and it could be maybe you're you're going to meet your match here we have kind of like light and dark like that balanced um energy the yin and yang kind of energy here wow all right let's see where this is going for you leo leo august love tarot reading let's see what all this means for you 
Liel. Leo, there's your <laughs> thunderstorms. Powerful energy coming in for you, Leo. All right, what does Leo need to know for August? Spirit, please, thank you so much. What does Leo need to know? Someone rising in Venus, male or female, general collective. Cross watchers are welcome also. The Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Page of Wands is Leo Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles is feeling a little unsure, a little imbalanced, maybe questioning, weighing pros and cons. This could be about an offer coming in, uh, good news coming in. Could be an offer from something, someone, situation. And you're trying to figure out if this is the right thing for you. So whether if this is a partnership, a business opportunity, um, whatever that means for you all right career or business opportunity or uh, whatever here you're, you're trying to figure out this is what you want all right i can't believe we got two bears there i think those are the only ones in the deck i do believe nine of wands so you know this is about perseverance not giving up been through a lot you could have been through a lot in life and you know persevering keep on going not giving up here the sun oh my god this was just uh poking out of the deck so whatever this news or offer whether again it's romance it's business it's work it's a promotion it's a raise it's a partnership of some sort whatever here that you're unsure about that you're trying to weigh out if you want this and it's telling you not to give up on this here if this is what you want fight for it because this will bring in your ultimate happiness here leo this is your energy with the sun total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way growth expansion success victory healing enlightenment you could be getting this is my soulmate twin flame card you could be finally getting a message from your twin and you're wondering mm, you know we've been through a lot can i really trust this can i really um is this really something that i want to accept so that's why you're in the two of pentacles energy page of cups so again could be a love offer something sincere um so page cup the page of cups here so it's small you know it's a page it could be an apology it could be a love offer something sincere all right coming from a loving energy here seven of cups yeah i feel like you're gonna feel a little confused um and maybe especially if you have been through a lot with this person before um you know maybe you think about the good times but there's something about a powerful connection here you could be both mystic healers uh, very ha both have very powerful energies about you all right let's see where this is going for leo what is this energy for leo four of pentacles queen of pentacles there's a lot of holding back here and we do have the uh, Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. And for me, this is kind of like pre-Empress energy. And usually the Queen of Pentacles can be the person who can be committed, married, long-term connection. Someone who's stable, grounded, trustworthy, practical, wise, smart, uh, giving, generous. But right now, we're not in that energy of kind of holding back until we kind of figure out what we want. Is this what's going to bring me the stability that I want? That's kind of what you're trying to figure out here. It's like, should I give up on this on this offer, the situation, or should I accept it? How is this going to move? Let's see how this is going to move forward. For you, Leo, I'm feeling a very powerful connection here coming in for you. The chariot yeah positive movement forward and this is all about drive ambition and balance the yin and the yang the light and the dark and usually you see the white horse the dark horse and we have the uh, white bear and the brown bear two different colors yin and yang balance drive ambition positive movement forward success and victory traveling or distance cancer energy here this can move forward in a very healing balanced energy here leo what else do we need to know here for Leo? Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles, Leo. This is a power couple. 
two people maybe starting a spiritual business here who are two strong powerful mystics healers uh, psychics mediums or whatever here in some way shape or form that could balance each other out and maybe where one has stronger um, abilities or gifts than the other but combine them together this could be a powerful um, business or mission two people being on the same wavelength and being very stable and grounded and making a lot of money here this is a divinely guided power couple we have virgo capricorn two earth energies but it doesn't matter two people that could really stabilize each other because we have the ten of pentacles next growth abundance wealth prosperity for the long term and i always say the ace of pentacles is like the minor of the sun we have the sun right there and that would lead to the ten of pentacles so i wouldn't be surprised if we get the ace you never know but you're confused is this really going to lead me to that ten of pentacles so you're holding back for moving forward but trust your intuition you have that power but we do have the ace of wands here again very powerful passionate new beginning the spark the inspiration the intuition projects endeavors missions um and new business opportunities entrepreneurship coming in here that you're holding yourself back from wow seven of pentacles it's going to take some investment no it may not come easy so there may be you know a growth period here where you you will have to invest to prosper to the 10 so it's about having patience and waiting for all this to prosper five of cups so this is about sadness loss and regret oh here's the ace of pentacles <laughs> i was how i kept being led to the uh, middle of the deck the cards poking out here i don't usually do that but i i seen it and so that was my cue that i needed to take those cards and there's that ace of pentacles that i just spoke of leo so this one little seed of investment and that's the universe kind of um, backing me up there if you have that thunder this little tiny seed of investment here that will take some nourishing um flourishing care to grow and prosper into the ten of pentacles between this power couple of the king and queen of pentacles but here's that ace so it's going to start with that seed of intention to prosper you know and if you've tried things in the past that didn't work out um you know don't dwell over things in the past that didn't work out here because there's more to come and usually you see the three cups built over and there's two still standing behind which is that business partnership that spiritual partnership that tantric union that strong powerful uh, connection partnership I feel like it could be not only soulmate to inflame but a high spiritual connection I mean you can both together make thunder roll I mean that's kind of what I'm feeling Wow all right what else do we need to know oh my gosh I'll take that one I'll take that one okay what do we have here Wow the ace of swords in the star oh my goodness Leo you have the ace of pentacles oh i thought you had another ace oh, yeah the ace of wands ace of pentacles ace of swords don't have the ace of cups that would be the brand new beginning in love but i feel like to get there we have to go through all this energy first but the ace of swords is my divine clarity from source awakening epiphany aha moment a big realization here having that divine clarity cutting away energy no longer serving honest truthful open communication telling it like it is successful new beginning here we have the start this is divinely guided energy faith hope optimism wishes dreams coming true something meant to be some maybe trying to be a star in some way shape or form or wanting wanting um this connection to shine like the stars all right moon you know the path the moon and the sun we have the divine feminine and the divine masculine here 
divine counterparts, Leo. So the moon sometimes can be about fear. It can be about not seeing the path clearly, but needing to listen to our intuition as hard as it may be. Um, all will be revealed because the sun always rises after the moon, you know, the sun comes out and all will be revealed. So it's not to have fear on this journey. What you can't see, you will see and treasure intuition. Right, the star and the moon. Stars only come out when the moon is out. That is crazy. All right. You, well, you only can see the stars when the moon is out. If that makes sense. Three of cups. Here's reuniting. So you may be reuniting with someone. Could be from just a past life connection, or meeting this person through socializing, dating, uh, community in some way, or gatherings, or ceremonies, or celebrations. Or this could be a reunion king of wands there you are leo or it could be someone who is a fire sign this is someone who is king of their domain who can be that entrepreneur who can be that business owner who goes after their dreams ambitions their goals they have a lot of fire passion uh inspiration very creative energy leo six of swords so things can move forward in a much healing balanced direction it can be movement travel distance moving to a much better place king of cups so pisces energy here very loving uh, connection listen to our intuition higher knowing page of swords so there could be a lot of watching and um, not a lot going on right now. Somebody could be watching you or vice versa. Or this could be learning new things if you've been thinking about doing that, going online. Wheel of Fortune, whatever this is, Leo, this makes sense for you. It is fate. It's destiny. Divine timing, something meant to be, getting better, going in the right direction. And um, this could be Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. But there's some uh, stress about this. Anxiety, Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords, a little bit of uh, mental entrapment regarding this. But this is a very spiritual connection here. I mean, we don't have the High Priestess, but if we had the High Priestess and the Hierophant, that's a matching couple, a very um, divinely gifted, strong spiritual connection. This could lead to marriage commitment. All right. So, Leo, I feel like here... Whatever this may be, if it's a reunion or you're just going to be meeting somebody, I feel like this is a, I feel like there could have been news or an offer or a message that came in regarding this partnership, romance or not, or a new offer for something new in your life, and you're unsure whether or not to do this, but you ending with the king of wands, ultimately that's you having to make this decision to accept this ace of pentacles offer but you have it may not be about love because we don't have the ace of cups here but this is a love reading so it could be it starts off as platonic or business or partnership and later it could turn to love because we do have um the three of cups do have the five of cups we don't really have a lot of cup energy here page of cups is a love offer or an apology or something of that nature so, I mean, it could turn to love down the road, but I do see power couple here, the king and queen of pentacles. Again, that could be a business partnership if it's not about love for you yet. <laughs> wow, okay. So I split the deck and I just saw heavenly signs and courage. So if you're seeing signs, symbols, um, whatever here, courage is like the strength card. But with that tantric union up there, this is some sort of special offer or union coming in for you Leo could be a past life connection volunteer so maybe some of you volunteer your spiritual services right now maybe you don't believe in getting paid for your services but I think the universe here is saying with all this pentacle energy it may be time to start doing so there's nothing wrong with getting paid for your gifts and your services at all a lot of people have a hard time believing that or accepting that and we have moving it's about moving in a new direction movement travel taking that action moving things in a whole new direction whole new energy 
things could start really moving for you in a whole new way bringing in for you the sun energy which is the best card in the deck and you may not even see it coming because you have the moon energy here hobbies again i feel like this is something some of you may do as a little side hustle hobby uh, a volunteering maybe maybe you read cards on the side maybe you know whatever here and it's something you just do for fun but this could actually be a powerful business for you leo changing your mind yeah it's time to change some of you maybe your mindset uh regarding this yeah and it may have to do again with religion and spirituality here leo but um i feel like things could really really pick up and change for you power couple coming in whatever that is for you i feel like you have a very special powerful connection coming in for you someone that is either going to be a business partner that could turn to romance later or uh, it's aligned somehow with that energy leo so i hope that resonates for you do give me a thumbs up leave me a comment if this resonates for you um, again everything you need to know is down below if you would like a private reading or your uh, july readings are down there lots of stuff down there patreon there's a lot of stuff if you'd like to check that out so wishing you the best leo sending you many many light love and blessings and i shall see you next time